Okay, so what does that mean, you and your unique musical voice? Regardless of the genre you may be into, rock, pop, funk, reggae, jazz, it doesn't matter. There are going to be hundreds, if not thousands, of other bass players doing that genre. How do you stand out from the crowd amongst all those people? What is it that I'm going to be looking for as a producer that makes me pick up the phone to you instead of Joe or George or Marjorie from somewhere else? I want you to be original. If you're just copying what other people are doing, then I'm just going to call them as a producer. Why call you? What do they have that you don't have? They are about giving me themselves, their deep emotional content. They're not scared of letting out their originality. That's what I want from you, and that's what these lessons are all about. And what we're going to do now is I'm going to give you a couple of exercises that will start you off on that way, and in the future you'll be able to come back and check out a lot more stuff which is dedicated only to finding, helping you find your unique musical voice. First, we just have to understand a very little science. In our brain, we lay down neuron pathways. Those neuron pathways, you could think of almost like bandwidth on the internet. Unlike the internet, there is no limited amount of bandwidth. As much information as you transfer in real time, the brain can absorb and learn. That's why we do it slowly. If you do it slowly, you'll have time to take on board more than just your right hand and your left hand. But how do I feel when I'm playing? Am I happy? Am I sad? Am I playing loud? Am I playing quietly? Am I feeling angry? Am I feeling gentle? It's almost like the same way that actors learn how to take on the persona. We can do this as musicians and we practice this in real time. Okay. So now, if you haven't seen the first three videos, you need to go and do so because the next exercise I'm about to give you relates directly to those exercises. The first thing is, when you play the exercise, once you're feeling good about it, first of all, play it neutral, but then when you're feeling good about it, go and play it and imagine you're playing really loud, but play really, 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 really quietly. And then do it again and imagine you're playing really quietly, play loud, okay? Then you add to that, am I feeling angry? I'm going to be gentle. Am I feeling spontaneously frustrated? I'm going to be relaxed. In other words, work on controlling your emotions within the practicing. And remember what I said about brain plasticity. This will become part of your technique in the same way that a method actor takes on those ideas. He may wake up in the morning feeling sad, but he has to be a happy guy on stage. That's what he does. This is the stuff that will make you stand out because it's about you discovering yourself. It's great to learn from the others in the genres you're doing, but you don't want to sound like them. You want to learn from them. You want to be influenced by them. You want to be excited by them. But in the end, you are you. You are not them. You know that. I know that. Let me help you bring that out. So I leave you with these thoughts, wishing you only the best. You know, if you want to know more about who I am, check out the website and there's a link to a great video that tells you a bit more about me. It is an endless, endless journey. The emotional side of playing will give you the individuality, the uniqueness, your own special individual musical voice. Only good stuff, Mark. <laughs>